Everybody, it's me, LaRosh, the Goddess Queen, just me, 23. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. Hit that notification bell, select all, so you're notified when I do post on this channel. Just wanted to do a quick energy reading for the overall collective. Song that's on right now is Lifestyle by Rich, uh, Rich Gang, Young Thug, Rich Homie Kwan. Okay. So energy reading for the overall collective, energy reading for the overall collective. Uh oh, that's too many. I'm gonna take that. It's dark. I can't even see. Okay. So we have twin flames that flew on the ground. We have lack and doubts. I ain't going out like nobody. And then we got reverse. It says action, courage, Jupiter, and beginnings. Wow. <laughs> New beginnings was my twin flames phase. Little uh, phase. Little uh, phrase that he would say for a while. And then it says fast aid. And then it says beliefs. So still stuck on this belief thing. So lack and doubt, right? No new beginnings because he's still your twin flame is still stuck in the illusion of him being a god or a pharaoh or a king queen or even a twin flame, right? If this is a woman, she's still if it's the masculine that is the one that is trying to get the you in a whole nother league, he needs to realize that, right? He he feel or she feel that she the shit. She know that they the shit. But they ain't that dick type of a shit. <laughs> they ain't, you know, no emperor or no, you know, no, no reincarnated god or pharaoh or king or queen or royalty bloodline because of the lifestyle that they lived and the things that have happened to them from their childhood to the age that they are now. So that's still, and again, depending on what the role is of this twin flame masculine or this twin flame feminine, they possibly depending on what it is that they're supposed to be doing, they're scared of taking that lead. So this twin flame is still scared and still have doubts of him being uh, that man. <laughs> I'm just going to say that, okay? Um, guilt, sabotage, especially if there was a lot of sabotage and guilt that was, you know, if there was a lot of sabotage that was done in this relationship, if he sabotaged this twin flame relationship, then he ain't guilt. And that's another reason why he has not took the, the, the courage or the responsibility to stand up for the actions and what role he played when it comes to sabotaging you, making you look like you the bad guy, making you lose certain things, making himself look like he was the good guy or making herself look like she was the good guy, which everyone that has done the most sabotaging, right? And typically it's the masculines and I'm just keeping it real. Because they have a certain lifestyle. Came straight from the bottom to the, my lifestyle, right? They have a certain lifestyle that they've been living before they met the divine feminine, right? And then they got involved in certain things before they met divine feminine. That's again, comes back to blackmail them, sabotage. So certain things that they took part of end up sabotaging this relationship. They're healing their inner child. Still healing their inner child. Their inner child is still bringing doubts to this relationship so whatever happened to this masculine or this feminine in their childhood is making them feel like they ain't worthy of this twin flame position 
and they still feel this way. Still feel this way. One more card. We have control tactics. So their control, whatever tactics that they were trying to use to try to keep you stuck, that's not working. That could have also been a part of sabotage. That could, Them not taking action in this relationship could have been also a control tactic. Not your twin flame. They don't want to be Mr. Controlling or Mrs. Controlling. All right? Enjoy yourself. So I feel like this person definitely is, look, fate. It says divine, to, it says divine intervention. It says detours. So they had a lot of detours off of this journey. The masculine. It's the masculine. Deception and temptation. It's the masculine. Allowing temptation and deceivers to come in the way of this relationship. Also cause them to have doubt in this relationship. Somebody mask is getting ready to come off. And I feel like some beliefs is getting ready to be said to this masculine or this feminine. I'm going to say masculine. Said to this masculine to make their mask fall off and make them have this divine intervention. So they can get back on track of this relationship between you and them. One more card. So energy reading for the overall collective. Jupiter energy is uh, the will of, typically the will of fortune. So the will of fortune is reversed. You got the six of wands and the nine of cups and the four of swords. Something told me to go look at my wall. I ain't looked at that for a while because I see this Jupiter. So I, that's one reason why I like these cards because there are certain tarot cards that represent certain uh you know, major arcanas and, and things like that as far as when it comes to planets and positions and they put it on this card. So it was a great thing that she did that. Um, but I just want to explain to you what the Jupiter is, the Wheel of Fortune. Again, it with the with it being an energy that is uh, the Four of Swords, the Resting and the Six of Wands. Again, not giving himself the praise and recognition. And then you have Party and you have External being reversed. So again, the Partier, Partier. So I feel like he getting ready to let go of parting. He letting go of third party situations that's no longer serving them. Yeah, attraction. You got Mars hot. So now Mars represents emperor energy. They want to come in and be this emperor now. Now he see it. But it took a while. Now he's seeing his purpose. North node. Okay. Whoever these party is, let's say if your masculine is so he's having a third eye activation. This person's having a third eye activation. OK, and, but again, at the same time, they, they moving slowly when it comes to them recognizing who they really who he really is or who she really is. OK. And, you know, the judgment, you know, uh, I just feel judgment is getting ready to happen for this person. Um, that Mars energy also represents energy as far as a tower. So you have air. So you got Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. You have the eight, the air of the Ace of Swords. Excuse me. So it says Gemini, Libra, and Aqu Aquarius, and then it says past, lack, and suffering. So their past, inner, their inner child. This person still having a problem with their past, and it says Venus and offer, and that's the reason why there is not a love offer. That's that's still not giving to you because of past situations, childhood situation, possibly past people that know about this masculine's childhood or wasn't part of this masculine's childhood is still interfering with their, you know, um, purpose, them getting back put on track. And that's the way I see this. And I feel like this is this person knows that they know they have to release, surrender and purge and let purge certain people that's in their life. Right. But they are getting messages and dreams and that's a, a, apology and forgiveness is what this person wants they want to be on an energy as far as self self caring self healing like you right divine time and just trust that this situation will work out in your favor right you've been doing it this long <laughs> why stop now is the way that i see it is that this person is just i feel like they're getting tired of the partying that party lifestyle is not sitting well with them like they used to anymore um, and I feel like now this person is suffering from, you know, past mistakes as far as when it comes to sabotaging this twin flame relationship between you and them. And again, they know that the biggest lack that caused them to deter to other people or just be back in the same old habits or not even try to, you know, get on their, uh, realign with their purpose when you came into their life to help them shift 
and get out of the bullshit detour into the right stuff, but they stayed and detoured in the, in the negative stuff. Um, this person, um, they know that their belief system and them lack of knowledge of them knowing about twin flames. And then again, their childhood. So their childhood is also a part of it because of the way that they were raised and the, the way that they were brought up. So this person is asking for forgiveness. I feel like they're asking for forgiveness for their self. Let's get some initials and then we're going to end this reading. So energy reading for the overall collective. Energy reading for the overall collective. Energy reading for the overall collective. Just make sure because I know my daughter was messing with these cards earlier <laughs> with these initial cards. I was like, did she get them? Give me all of them. She put them back. Yeah, she put the piles back the right way. So we got a W. We got an X. So W X could be very significant. X W. Okay. We have a G. So G W R G X or X G R G W. Our W G. Excuse me. You got an I. So wig is here, okay? Okay. You got a V here. You got a Q. And then you got a C and one more initial. We have an A. Okay. So you have W X W G W I W V W Q W C W A. You have X W X X W X G X I X V X Q X C X A. G W G I G X G V G Q G C G A. My grandma's initials G W C or C W. No, G W C. But this was her married name, and then her maiden name was Washington, so she switched it. That's here. Okay, just noticed it. CIA is here. Gia. Okay. Okay, so there's other initials. So we got A W A X A G A I A V A Q A C C A C Q C V C I C G C X C W Q A Q C Q V Q I Q G Q X Q W. All right. V I V Q V C V A V G V X V W. Okay. I V I G I. So I I G. That's Instagram. So I X I W I Q. Somebody's I Q I C I A. Okay. These could be anybody's initials. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. 
Love y'all and y'all be safe.